Good dog and welcome to PA Dutch 101. This is video 14 in our series and we'll be dealing with the verb to know. And then in Pennsylvania Dutch underneath I have two words, wisse and kenne. This video is going to discuss why I have two of these for one of these in English. Let's jump right in. All right, the verb to know. In English we have one verb, to know, and we use it in different situations. In Pennsylvania Dutch, we have two separate verbs, one for each of the situations. And I'll be talking about the situations here in this video. Okay? And here's what you have to ask yourself. What you know will determine which verb to use. You'll see very quickly what I mean by that. The first verb, kenne, K-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, kenne, kenne, you use when you're talking about knowing a person, a place, or a thing. I know Jim. I know the answer to the, uh, I know, excuse me, I know the city, meaning I know my way around it, okay? Um, or, oh, I know that book. So that's the times when you're going to use kenna. The other option, wisse, 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 is used to know a fact or something. I know the answer to a question. I don't know, we'll be using this in. So these are our two verbs you have to figure out, depending on the situation, which one you need to use. You can't interchange them. They're specific for those situations. So that's why in English we just use that one for all of these situations, but in German they have two, or excuse me, in Pennsylvania Dutch, well in German too, in Pennsylvania Dutch we have two verbs, one for each situation. Okay? And as we practice today, I think you'll understand and start to see how it works, and it won't be, it's not that bad. Kenna, let's look at that one first. Kenna is a regular verb and conjugates normally. Like we've learned in our previous videos, it, does, it follows the normal rules, gets the, the regular endings, nothing to worry about. It's pretty easy. Remember that it's used when talking about knowing, knowing a person, knowing a place, or knowing a thing. Here's an example. Ich ken dein Onkel eigentlich gut. Ich ken dein Onkel eigentlich gut. Good. I know your uncle very well. Maybe he's a friend of mine, or I know him very well. We're using kenna here instead of wisse. Okay? See the difference. Here's another example. Der Martin kennt Nayarik Städte gar nicht. Der Martin kennt Nayarik Städte gar nicht. Martin does not know New York City at all. Meaning he doesn't know the way the streets run, he doesn't know where things are. This is why we're using kenna in this example. And here's another one. Oh, dear Ken schon gone with the wind. Oh, dear Ken schon gone with the wind. Oh, you already know gone with the wind. Meaning you know of the movie, maybe you know the story behind it, the plot, the characters, etc. That's why we're using kenna. To know a person, to know a place, or to know a thing. Wisse, okay. our other verb on the other hand, is sadly not a normal verb. Wisse is one of our irregular verbs, and we've talked about irregular verbs in previous videos, that does not conjugate normally. It has its own conjugation, and it is used to talk about knowing a fact, as I stated previously. Here in our chart, I have conjugated wisse out for all of our subject pronoun situations, Notice that the spelling changes quite a... it changes. Let's just leave it at that. Memorize this the way it is, because it doesn't follow a pattern. Okay? For ich, the conjugation is weis. 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 For du, it's weist. 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 For er, sie, and es, weis. 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 For mir, wisse. 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 For dir, wist. 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 And for sie, wisse. 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 So, ich weiß, du weißt, er, sie, es, weiß, mir wisse, dir wisst, sie wisse. Again, this is when talking about a fact, okay, knowing a fact. Memorize this verb, you need to know it, okay? 
A little bit more about Bissa and examples. Here it is in a sentence. Ich weiß nicht, wo er wohnt. Ich weiß nicht, wo er wohnt. I do not know where he lives. This is a fact. Information, something you don't know. That's why we're using Bissa instead of Kenna. Ich weiß nicht, wo er wohnt. Or this one. C weiß all die Antwort. C weiß all die Antwort. She knows all the answers. Again, we're talking about facts here. That's why we used Bisse. Wisst ihr, wie viel Zucker es gibt? Wisst ihr, wie viel Zucker es gibt? Do you guys know how much sugar there is or how much sugar we have? This is a great verb to know, especially if you need to say this phrase. And as a learner of Pennsylvania Dutch and you're just starting out, you'll probably use this a lot. The word, the phrase for I don't know is Ich weiß net. Ich weiß net. Ich weiß net. Okay. Using all this information we just covered in this video, let's practice a little bit. I'll give you a sentence. You, get, you figure out, are we supposed to use visa or kenna? and conjugate the verb correctly for each situation. Okay? So here's your first example. Die Judy blank my mother gut. So Judy knows my mother well. Die Judy blank my mother gut. Is it Missa or Canada and conjugate it properly? I'll give you a second to think about it. The correct answer would be Kent. Die Judy kent my mother gut. Die Judy kent my mother, good. We're talking about knowing the person, knowing the my mother, so it would be Kenna, conjugate Kenna for Judy. How about this one? Mir blank, where der president is. Mir blank, where der president is. We know who the president is. Figure out which form of to know should go there and conjugate it properly. You should have said, Mir wisse, wer der Präsident ist. Mir wisse, wer der Präsident ist. It's a fact, so we chose wisse. Here's another one. Blank du, wie spät es ist? Blank du, wie spät es ist? So do you know what time it is or how late it is? We covered that in our telling time video. You should choose wäscht. Weisch du, wie spät es ist? Weisch du, wie spät es ist? And one more. Blank du, Frau Treibel bist. Blank du, Frau Treibel bist. So, do you know Mrs. Treibel bist? It's an easy one. What would it be? Kennst. Kennst du, Frau Treibel bist? Kennst du, Frau Treibel bist? So this video, again, we covered the difference between visa and kenna. Both of them mean to know, but we use them in different situations. Practice this between now and the next video that you watch. Go back, practice all the other stuff in the previous videos. And don't forget that there are Facebook groups out there for people that speak Pennsylvania Dutch. They are a great way for you to connect with people all over the place that can help you practice your Pennsylvania Dutch or if you have questions, they're great people to ask. I find that the vast majority, if not everybody involved in these Facebook groups, are very friendly and want to help people learn Pennsylvania Dutch and want to provide opportunities for them to practice. So again, get, if, if you do Facebook, look for the groups. Kannst du Deutsch schwätze? Can you speak Pennsylvania Dutch? Kannst du Deutsch schwätze? Is a good one. I'm not Amish, but I speak Dutch. That's another good one. And, uh, or feel free to email me and I can give you the links to these uh, internet groups that you can then con uh, connect with. But that's it for today. So, bis die nächste Video. Mach's gut und schwätz Deutsch.